Hi guys, welcome to the last uh, video um, for the Tesco Beers Mark II series that I've done. Uh, even though they're like three weeks after the beers were released and everyone else has reviewed them already. But that's not what's important. You know what, I'm not, I'm not supreme, I'm not a hype beast. I just go at my own pace, I had other things planned, everything was scheduled. So shoot me if I don't capitalise on these new beers. Uh, but yeah, by by now, uh, pretty much most of you guys in the UK have hopefully uh, sourced these beers and tried them for yourself. Um, I know quite a few of the UK beer tubers have already covered these beers. And um, yeah, big shout out to uh, the Beer Dad, who did a much better version of what I'm going to do now with other beers. Um, he did a New England IPA said that really strangely. New England IPA, like, sort of face-off between, I think it's four beers. I've, I've put the video into my Watch Later playlist, but I've not watched it yet, but I'm sure it's going to be a, a hell of a lot more eloquent and straight to the point than this mess will be. But one thing that those videos might not have, they may do have, is uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of cuvee action. Because why not? Anyway, so the two beers, as you can see if you've watched the two videos from earlier today and you've seen the thumbnail, uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of a comparison between uh, the Brewdog First Cloudwater New England IPA and Brewdog's um, Forge Void Milk Canned version of Hazy Jane. Both New England IPAs, both Brewdog beers, that's why I'm doing a comparison. Uh, the New England IPA, and I've, I think I've mixed up the cans now. No, I've not. Uh, the glasses, I should say. New England IPA uh, is coming in at 6.8%. And the Hazy Jane is coming in at 7.2%. And uh, yes, I've got a very nasty looking um, wound on my thumb because I, I scraped it and it fucking hurts. It's still stinging now. I'll never be a hand model, unfortunately. Although I could make money with my feet, but we won't get into that conversation because this is a politically correct channel. Anyway, so, let's have a look at the beers. So this is my, let me just double check, just see if my nose is good. Yeah, this is definitely the Hazy Jane, so we're going to pour the rest of the can in this beautifully designed Wonder Beyond glass. And then we're going to get the rest of the New England IPA Brewdog vs. Cloudwater, also in a beautifully designed Wonder Beyond glass. So we've got all the beer in both glasses. And I've somehow managed to drink pretty much equal measures from both reviews. Uh, so this is, of course, the Cloudwater vs. Brewdog New England IPA. This is Hazy Jane. Uh, in terms of appearance, then, pretty much identical. Um, same hue to them, same opacity to them, density, uh, same pretty much head retention. Uh, let's give them a little bit of slip. Yeah, it's like they're pretty much identical. They are identical in glass form. Um, even when you look top down. This might have a little bit more of a chalkier appearance, um, but <sighs> clutching at straws to find... Uh, the difference between the two visually. But both look spot on. So, we'll give a sniff to the uh, lower ABV one first from Cloudwater and Brewdog. Well, this one definitely has the more, you know, quintessential notes from a New England IPA. It's a little bit more refined. Um, it's a little bit more robust I would say. Loads of pineapple, melon, mango, blood orange, a little bit of slight herbal characters, maybe a bit of parsley, a little bit of uh, dank, oniony, garlicky, caramelised tones, slight um, marijuana aroma which I do really enjoy. Whereas this one has more of a sweeter uh, lighter citrusy sort of aroma 
And I've just realised I was going to do a cuvee, so I should have kept a little bit in each can and poured, so I'm going to have to pour for my glasses. I don't care. Why do you even watch my videos? Seriously. I do genuinely appreciate it. Yeah, this is a little bit more toned down. So in terms of the aroma, the New England IPA, Brewdog versus Cardwater, wins out on that one. So, I think we can stop this video here and say that, that this beer is probably going to come out on top. Just for the fact that I gave it a 10 out of 10 in my review, and I gave the Haze Jane an 8 or an 8.5 out of 10. Both fantastic reviews, so... I'm just going to put a disclaimer here right now. Both of these beers are more than worth your time. At £3 each, they're absolute bargains. They really, really are. There's no cutting, into, cutting of quality. There's no, you know, corners cut in terms of use of ingredients. You're getting a hell of a lot of bang for your buck with both beers. Um, so both of them, I'm just going to fly out and say, if you see them on the shelves in your local Tesco's, whether there be one can, two can, or six cans of each, pick all of the cans up of each of these beers because we're so blessed, we're so spoilt, we're so entitled uh, now with what we can get, for the most part, because... You know, it took me a few Tesco's to get the selection of beers that I did for this this week of reviews. And um, I thought I'd, it was going to be like a Lost Cosmonauts from North Bruin when it came to the Brewdog and Cloudwater beer. I thought, there's no chance in hell I'm getting hold of that. But I did, and I picked up two cans. And um, Hazy Jane, I was very surprised to see Hazy Jane as well in the same Tesco's that I'd never go to. It was just you know by chance by uh, look of circumstance because i was out with a couple of friends we were having a drive we needed to go to the toilet i thought oh it's the tesco's i'll just see what they've got from the new range i probably the best selection and i'll never be able to go to that tesco's again do you know what i mean uh so there's a lot of um luck when it comes to this because a lot of tesco's just don't seem to stock them uh specific beers what you see in terms of what's on the shelf is pretty much what you're going to get uh, for the remainder of these beers existence do you know what I mean so there's a bit of luck at the draw but that's what I love about you know finding beers it's the exploration it's the adventure it's the you know, adventure's a bit of a stronger word but you know what I mean it's it's finding the beers and then that satisfaction you get when you see a beer that you've never seen before or a beer that you wanted to try for such a long time uh, it's it's the thrill of the chase I suppose you could say it's the best part about you know falling in love as well well actually it's not it's about the you know uh, the raucous primal love making that you make <laughs> am I comparing beer to having really fantastic sex <sighs> probably um <laughs> awkward segue but yeah uh but no seriously uh it's it's finding the beers that's sometimes really enjoyable uh and of course you drink them in the you know world class but anyway i digress and uh put myself in a very awkward situation so aroma wise uh the brew dog and cloud water col collab wins out appearance it's a tie they're the same looking beer so, let's give them a taste. So it makes sense to get the lower ABV beer out of the way first. It's just magical. So good. This is so good. So, how this is available in supermarkets is beyond me. It's creamy, it's rich. It's got all those tropical fruit flavours, it's got a bit of a dank, savoury edge, and then you've got a little bit of citrus. Not, It's got a very gentle sweetness, but lovely bitterness on the back end. Coach your mouth after you've finished it as well. 
oh, it's it's exemplary. It really, really is. Um, Brewdog have really and Cloudwater have just done such a great job with that beer. They really, really have. And some people might accuse me of being, you know, over the top, you know, being a bit, you know, what's that word? Blah, 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 blah. But I'm not. I'm genuinely in love with that beer. So, <laughs> moving on to the Hazy Jane. Uh, no pressure. Body is slightly lacking compared to the... Uh, cloud water cola that's how I'm going to refer to it now because uh, it, it's 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 a bit silly actually just to label your beer New England IPA especially when you're a brewery known for giving your beers obscene names but yeah that's it's not as vibrant there's a bit more of an earthiness there but then there's a bit more sweetness uh, bitterness is pretty much pretty much identical so both beers have a very satisfying uh, level of bitterness but yeah they're, it's just Hazy Jane could easily become this yeah there's there's not much between them um, I gave uh, the Cloud Water Collab 10 out of 10 and I gave the Hazy Jane either an 8 or an 8.5. 1.5 out of 10. Yeah, 1.5 difference is not much at all. That's still on the level of go out and buy those beers. But yeah, it's... You can taste that cloud water are involved in this beer. That's what I would say. Um, but that being said... I wouldn't really use that argument on previous installments of Brewdog versus, because uh, what was it the the Verdon uh, IPA that they did beautiful you know hazy fruity IPA, but you didn't really taste the Verdon in there. Uh, the Overworks uh, collab with Dea, which was a hazy New England you know soured IPA, you didn't really get the Dea aspect, but this. I can taste cloud water in this beer. Both breweries, Brewdog and Cloudwater, seem to have their, their own distinct flavours. I think when it comes to pale beers, Cloudwater has a very distinct way they incorporate and utilise hops in their processes. Whereas Brewdog, I've never been able to put a finger on that Brewdog flavour. I don't know whether it's a, a yeast strain when it comes from or the the quality of water or the way the water is treated or their own use of hops or where they buy their hops from or even you know how they you know steep the malts or the quality of the malts but I said it in my uh, review of this beer uh, drinking this it's taking me back to sitting in Cloudwater's tap room and just sipping on a beer and it does seem one-sided that I'm singing all the praises but I'm not going to hate on Hazy Jane at all. That's still a lovely, wonderful beer. And I said in my review, beers like this just go to show that Brewdog can still brew pale beers. And, you know, when they get the likes of Cloudwater in there as well, just take it to another level. Um, I mean, Cloudwater, you know, they built their reputation on their double IPA series. They were one of the you know, the forerunners when it came to that American New England Vermont style IPA in the UK. The likes of them, Verdon. Do you know what I mean? So of course, when you get that sort of um, expertise and concentration um, of skill and knowledge to a brewery, you're going to get that influence in the beer. But I don't want to take too much away from Brewdog's, you know, use of hops. Especially in recent beers that I've had from them. Um, and I know Brewdog are an easy brewery to hate on. They're an easy brewery to, you know, hit with a stick, whatever. But I think Brewdog have really... 2019 has been such a good year for Brewdog in terms of the quality of their beers. 
Uh, yeah, there have been some beers that have been a little bit, you know, uninspired. Uh, that, you know, you could easily fall into that trap of, oh, typical blue dog beer. But, um, yeah, both these beers are wonderful stuff. Uh, and I'd even go as far as to say that um, this rivals, you know, some of the best UK New England IPAs that I've had in a long time. So Brewdog should be very happy with this video, essentially, um, because these are two outstanding uh, IPAs. They really, really are. Definitely worth your time. And uh, yeah, what more can I say? Uh, this, I mean, this clear winner, but clear winner, there's not much in it. Um, and I think if, if Brewdog just really were a bit more brave with these sorts of beers, like Hazy Jane, <clears throat> they would be able to compete um, with the likes of Verdant, Dea, North, um, Track, Cloudwater. Do you know what I mean? In terms of those like highly regarded Hazy IPAs. But I think Brewdog, they, they know how to brew this style, this style, this style, this style, this style, this style, this style. Where some of those other breweries have only just about started to brew that style differently in this style, in this style, in this style. So, um, yeah, for as, you know, mainstream as Brewdog are, they're still knocking out some great beers. East Coast Crush is still a, is a highly recommended beer as well. So, yeah, it's not really beers going against her because they're both Brewdog beers. They're both fantastic. So that's the... I think that's the point that I wanted to make with this this video as well. I I love Brewdog. If a, a city I go to has got a Brewdog bar, I'm going to go to that bar. And if I'm not really impressed with what Brewdog are offering, then nine times out of ten they've got a well-stacked you know, fridge or they've got a nice um, guest list. So you're guaranteed a good drink in a Brewdog bar. Even though sometimes the staff from Bar to Bar can be a little bit... Mm, it's like, do you really like beer? Or are you just doing this because it's a pay slip? Which is fine. But I do like to have a little bit of back and forth with beers that I'm buying when I'm in a, a bar like Brewdog. And that's why I love it when, you know, the guy or girl behind the bar is like, oh, you're going to love this beer. Or did you try this? I like that sort of stuff. Um, and that's coming from someone who hates people, quite frankly. Uh, but yeah, both beers, fantastic. Um, and if you like your hazy IPAs and you want a bit of a budget and you can get access to these two beers, you're sorted. Mm -hmm. you, you're sorted, man. You genuinely, genuinely are. And I can't believe I refer to you collectively as man. But anyway, so let's see if we can, without making too much of a mess, let's see if we can make a little bit of a couve using my uh, Indieman 2018 glass for this. So we'll put a little bit of uh, cloud waters in there. A lot of cloud water apparently. Or the cloud water collab. And then we'll put a bit of Hazy Jane in there. I think that's equal measure. Probably not. I'll never be a barman, so why worry? Sloshing it around the place because I've had a few drinks and it's starting to hit me, but let's see what we get in the nose. This just smells good. It smells really nice. Oh, It's a bit more bitter throughout now that both beers are in there. It's still, if you can, that. I think people would like it, but yeah, I think drink these beers individually. Don't don't waste a good few mouthfuls of beer by cuvee in this. It's a bit medicinal, and that's what I'd say. Hazy Jane does have very slightly is a little bit of a medicinal edge, which the uh, Brewdog Cloud Water collab have a drinking game every time I mention that. By the way. Play this video back, share it with your friends, and have drinking game with all the uh, clueless drinkerisms. Every time I make a self-deprecating 
a self-deprecation comment, every time I mention or touch my hair, every time I use a specific word, every time I, you know, uh, said Brewdog versus Cloudwater or New England IPA. If you want a good cheap night in, just watch my videos and pick up on my mannerisms. Anyway, bit of a throwaway video for the end, uh, nothing too serious, but I hope you've enjoyed this uh, week of Tesco's. Definitely go check out your nearest Tesco's, or if you're on a trip and you see a Tesco's, or you need to go to a Tesco's while you're visiting someone, check out the beer aisle, see what they've got available. Uh, Honourable mention to uh, Magic Rock, you can get a good chunk of their core range now, including um, Dark Arts, which is just magic in its own right, no pun intended. Um, but yeah, I think we're so lucky, and um, I'm going to enjoy every time I stumble across both of these beers, because they're going in my trolley. They really, really are. And uh, yeah. And I'm looking forward to sourcing beers I've not covered in this, which I'll probably cover in a independent reviews further down the line. But um, yeah, both of these beers, absolute knockouts. We're so lucky here in the UK. And um, I think credit where credit's due to, uh, I always forget the guy's name, I'll put his uh, Instagram handle in the comments. Because, you know, I'm getting these beers for three quid, or like smaller. Um, measures for four for six, four for five pounds, six pounds. It's like ridiculous. But I'll still go to the bottle shops every now and then. Um, but yeah, if you want to get beer on a budget and you don't want to compromise on quality, go to your local Tesco's and you're guaranteed to at least one or two fantastic beers. Anyway, love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this. Um, have you enjoyed this recent wave of? Uh, beers and Tesco's. Um, do you have any predictions for what's coming next? I know it's been a little bit more of a push on darker styles, which I think is good. Very up a bit, because it can't just be sours or IPAs and pales at the end of the day, even though they're probably what I consume the most of, um, as you can tell by my uh, voluptuous mantids. But um, yeah, and for some reason... Apple's screensaver is kind of reminding me of a swash sticker. What a note to end on. Thank you guys for watching, and I shall hopefully see you next time. See you guys later.